Hey, how's it going, guys? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection, and I hope you're ready for another Logic tutorial in sound design. So let's go ahead and begin by uh, going to our instrument rack and selecting an ES2 synthesizer. We're going to go ahead and select stereo. And right now we're at our factory default, but we're going to want to go ahead and go to our tutorial settings, go to analog saw. And now that we have that brought up, you'll see some changes and some animations happening here in our oscillators. And we have a very basic sound, but we're going to shape this and mold it to a very cool sound. Uh, let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like right now. So it just sounds kind of boring, kind of buzzy, uh, of course, because this is a sawtooth waveform. Okay, so in our past video, I kind of explained all the parameters and how they work and stuff like that. So we're not going to go over all that right now. We're just going to go ahead and simply shape this sound. Uh, so let's see what we got here. We're going to go ahead and begin by going to oscillator one, making sure that we have our uh, square wave up right here. So now we have a more of a rounder hollow sound. Sounds nice. We're gonna open up oscillator number two and go to, uh, our, again, another uh, square wave. So we have two square waves going on right here. Uh, here in our, our tone section right here, we're gonna bring this to negative 12 uh, semitones, which is one octave below. Uh, but you didn't really hear a big difference because I haven't adjusted our blend. We're going to go ahead and do about a, you know, about a 60-40. In this case, it looks like 62-38, which is fine. Cool. Now we have a nice big sound. Uh, we're going to go ahead and change this to uh, monophonic. And we're going to make this unison, which is going to change this from six voices to three. Oh, should have. Uh, I might be mistaken. Anyways, uh, we're, we're going to want this to be three voices anyways. Great, now we have a nice, uh, deep, dark, buzzy sound. Sounds nice. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go ahead and mosey on over to our filter section. And we're just going to go ahead and click on fat right here and go to our cutoff. And we're going to cut a lot out. We're going to go ahead and make this around. Around here should be fine. Dot 180. It sounds sounds pretty good. Maybe we'll make it a little bit lower. Let's do a dot one forty instead of one eighty. Bring this down just a little bit more. Perfect. I like the way that sounds. All right, nice. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and go to our distortion section right here, our, our effects section. If you'd pardon me for a moment, and we're gonna go ahead and bring up our distortion to around uh, eight point zero, around there. So here we are. So it's a lot, uh, a lot grittier sounding. If we want it even further grittier, we can hit the hard button right here. But I'm fine with the soft, that's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, now let's go ahead and bypass uh, some of the routing that's going on right here and just focus on uh, cutoff two. That's gonna be our target, which is gonna be over here. And our source will be, uh, how about LFO one? You know what, let's go ahead and change that to, let's go ahead and change that to our envelope one better. Much better. Okay, let's go ahead and now that we are looking at envelope number one right here, we're gonna change our decay to around uh, 50 milliseconds, I mean 500 milliseconds. Awesome. Nice, now we got a, a nice heavy sound going on right here. And envelope three is uh, usually, uh, you know, is usually actually on. So we're just going to change our release right here and make that about 350. So now we kind of have a longer, you know, kind of like sustaining sounding out. Kind of lingers a little bit. That sounds nice and heavy. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, hear uh, the sound that we designed. If you guys recognize that song, it's uh, from the Far East Movement, and I believe the song's called uh, Like a G6. Uh, pretty cool song. Uh, so now we have just basically designed that sound. So what we're going to want to do is uh, make sure that we copy it. And we probably don't want to save it on this bank right here. So let's go ahead and go to 
uh, recall default. So we're at our factory default. We're gonna go ahead and right click again. And we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna paste what we just copied over, which turns this into a manual sound. And now we're gonna go ahead and save as, and we're gonna call this, uh, how about like a G6? and we'll hit save and yeah that's pretty much it so i hope you guys liked the video if you guys did go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below go ahead and like the video of course and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace